Howdy, folks, and once again, welcome to Melody Mountain Ranch and Larry Joe Taylor's Texas Music Festival. Let's get to know a little bit more about what some have termed the annual Woodstock of Texas country music. Well, we started 29 years ago, it's 1989. There weren't a lot of gigs going around for Texas musicians in uh, 1989. Knew a bunch of chili cooks out in Dalhart, I asked him if they'd, if they'd come cook chili, we'd put on a little uh, festival, and Ray Wiley Hubbard uh, called him, and he said, yeah, I don't have a gig either. We went out to a field out in uh, Mingus, and we probably had about 100 people at the first one. The tradition of the uh, campfire started that uh, at that first one. Uh, there was a bunch of people around the campfire, and everybody said, man, we ought to do this again next year. I said, okay, we'll do it one more year. <laughs> well, 29 years later, we're still doing it, but uh, it's grown a lot since that first one. But somebody asked me, how big do you want this to get? And I said, I don't know. I just, you know, I want to turn as many people on to this kind of music as possible. Man, I could see there being a thousand people there someday, you know? That, don't, that happened about two years after that. The whole thing is, has always been built on campfires. I always say the best music happens after the stage is shut down. We like to encourage every artist and most all artists to go out in the campground and, and kick all night long with the, with everybody. You know, just sit find a camp. One guy's playing a guitar and just say, "Can I, you know, play a couple of songs with you?" And, and that's to me, that's what it's been built on. Is what uh, the vibe of it is. You know, this is the coolest festival there is. I mean, it's just absolute blast. Just, we just we just got through driving around with Larry Joe in the cart here and hanging with people, drinking beers with people, and it's just a great experience. I first started coming here because of the love of music this festival has. I mean, well, we play a show and everybody pays attention and it's rowdy and has fun. And then afterwards, you go walk around at different campsites and play guitar. I really love that atmosphere. I love the fact that people cared enough to sit around the fire and listen to me and. I enjoy listening to other people too, so it's just a great music, keyword music festival. You know, the Larry Joe Taylor Festival has been a huge part of the growth of Texas country music. All these artists, you know, whether they're singer-songwriters or whether they're entertainers, whether they've been doing it for just a few years or, or 30, all of us come out here, we hang out together, there's a lot of camaraderie. The fans really appreciate that. And they're just out there, you know, raging and getting loud, but in the same sense, they'll sing along to every word. And that's what makes this place really special. It's unique, it's one of a kind. It is Texas country music. looked at this festival because I'm a first of all a music fan I want to make it right for fans where people have a good seat or a good uh, standing place to to watch a show you know I, I actually go out and ride around through the campground and it's just grown over the years now it's just a, it's a big city that uh, arrives on Sunday and Monday of the week and then the city just grows all week long. It's pretty cool to drive through the campground. It is like a little city out there. See a million dollar motorhome right beside somebody uh, camping in the back of their truck. They're cooking for each other. <clears throat> they meet every year. They get the same campsites every year. There, there's a lot of tradition here that's developed in 29 years uh, on its own, really. Mm -hmm. 